All right, g'day there. I'm Richard Musgrave Evans and welcome back. Again, a pre-dawn painting. We're actually gonna just paint the very first light as the sun comes over the horizon. The sun is behind you guys. I'm gonna be painting this way. So as soon as she comes up, bang, the glow on the horizon. So that is basically what I'm after. Again, I'm painting on Belgian linen with palette knives. It's a clear primer on the Belgian linen, so it looks like it's just raw, but there's actually a protective primer on it. Got the oil paint, got the whole works and jerks. All right, let's get into it because we haven't got much time. Biggest differences as usual. First, I'll just get the thing a little bit more level. Right, there we go. Um, okay, composition, biggest differences. What I might do is just clean the, uh, before I go any further, clean this palette off because it's just got a little bit of dirt on it. And I don't want too much of that mixed up in the uh, painting, obviously. Got a bin over here, we'll just drop that in. Right, now you're going to be able to see what I'm mixing. If I stand like that, you will. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Right. Get everything perfect before I start. Before we start, I don't want to change things too much. Alright. Might just uh, use a bit of green and blue. I've got to make sure I'm not in the way. Every painting's different. Every painting has a different setup. Now, I've got a bit of magenta. Some brilliant green and blue and white. Just like a bit of a turquoisey colour. Just want to establish a bit of a horizon line where I'm going to actually be painting. Right. Magenta and white. A bit of burnt sienna. It's making a lighter tone here. Mixing a bit of that green with it, I just want to bung the hilling where I think I want it. It's a lighter tone than that. Swap knives, here we go, here we go. Down, up, down. It's a beautiful kind of bulge on the hill, so just draw that in like that. of alizarin crimson to make it slightly pinker. A bit more of that pale green. The reason I'm going for so much pale green is at the moment it's not really obvious. But as soon as that light strikes those hills, all the shadows seem to go the complementary colour like I've said in other videos. Which means you'll get the complementary colour of the warm tones is going to be the pale colours like greens and blues and stuff. So we'll just put a bit of that in there now because it will definitely be there. Those crows in the morning sound fantastic. I spent a bit of time getting that draftsmanship right because that's pretty much the keynote of the painting, that horizon. Right. More lighter tones. Now I've got that right. I'm going to start bunging some of the sky in which I'm going to start with blue and white right on the horizon. I haven't got a lot of white here. Oh yes I have, no I'll be right. I was going to say I've got not much white so I better not use it all but I've got a to top up if I need it so I'll be right. What I might just do though is uh, clean the knife a bit. You've got to keep the colours clean when you're using these warm complement, uh, these bright complementary colours. Let's have a look what we've got out. Yeah. 
kind of glow today. It's going, <clears throat> it's going to be great. It is going to be great. I just get that like so. Yep. Now I can take a bit of paint off in a few areas like here to restructure the hill. Scraping the paint off. Just to get the draft and ship how I want it. Taking, actually pulling the paint, that blue sky paint is coming off. Going back to those shadowy tones. Right, now I've got to clear an area because I haven't got a very big palette as compared to what I normally use. Probably straight magenta and white. What I'm doing at the moment, the sky is not quite the colour I'm painting it. I'm anticipating it because what's going to happen in another few minutes, a whole band of colour is going to come through. So what I do is I anticipate it, put it in there, and then when it actually comes, just adjust it, fine tune it. Just... Oh, hang on, the blinking sun's up. Quick, I just realised she's actually hitting. Get her on. got to start putting that sun colour on because it's there already. You know? So I'll mix up this magenta and white again. A bit of an orange and white over here. Magenta. Start peeling it on straight away because it's already there. It got there a lot quicker than I was thinking it was going to. I thought I had all the time in the world. What a beautiful light. I'll go for a bit of that uh, lizard and crimson because it's slightly pinker. Well, oh, that's it, popping. She's popping there. Stand back and have a look. I'm just trying to keep out of your way at the same time as get this picture in as quick as I can because heck that came quick. As you saw. I'm just putting all those beautiful glowing colours in. Now, where's that big palette knife? Quick, 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 quick. All those foregrounds have gone that kind of pale green colour I was talking about. I'll better get that in to contrast it while it's still in shadow. Magenta over here, make a bit of an earthy tone. Mix up a bit of pale yellow ochre and white for some of the grasses just on the hill here. So it went a lot quicker than I was thinking. As you see, it's a very quick fleeting moment, all this stuff. I didn't even get time to put the sky in, bang, it's all different again. So. A 
nice warm tones in the sky, lighten her up a bit, that's too dark. some of the cooler colours in the sky. I haven't got time to be too pretty here. Darken the sky as we go. Doing a bit of smearing and rubbing each time. Magenta and white. That orange. It's a bit too light in tone that. Shadows I notice are a slightly lighter tone, I pitched them a bit dark, didn't have time to do anything about that, so now I'm just lightening them off a bit. You just got to go with it as it comes. Breaking in the morning light coming across there. Okay. Right. More pale blue. Just gonna smear that blue through to soften some of these. Streaky sky effects. Need to add more white here because it's a lighter tone. It's kind of moody sky now. Before I go any further, I'll take that tape off. I didn't even get a chance to put my darks in. That was just, I got surprised today by how quickly the whole light changed. That really wasn't quite ready for it. Must have slept in a bit too much. I'm just gonna bung off a couple of dark tones in. We're about here, I reckon. Just to contrast the, uh, all the lighter tones. What I'm gonna do here, what do you got? A little bit of a smear through, just blend all those tones with the big wipe of the palette knife. The 
beautiful colours coming in there now. Beautiful colours. And I was not ready for them. So I'm running around like a crazy man. Crazier, I should say. Get some of those foreground salt bushes in once I get a few colours in. <laughs> oh, we got a yellow and orange. Yeah, some beautiful colours to look. Yeah, some So, I don't know if you can see, but as the light's looking across, those shadows in here go really pale green. So I've already got that pale green in. Now I'm just bunging that in. I'll just stand back and have a look. Well, as you can see, the sun's sort of dying now. It's going behind a cloud behind you. So that'll pretty much do it. There you go. So I wasn't ready for that one. It caught me by surprise. I thought I had at least another 10 minutes to tear the trees. But I uh, just got tricked. Must be daylight saving or something. Anyway, what I'll do is uh, get the camera off and we'll have a closer look at it. Now, remember, if you like this style of video and you haven't already subscribed, remember to do that. And give it a thumbs up if you like the video because that helps the video itself and in general just spread the good word all right let's get this camera off no worries thank you all right now out there she's died because as you saw it was a very fleeting moment the sun's already gone behind the clouds okay here we go now you can see i didn't have a lot of time well as you, you saw that for sure and I threw the sky in way, way quicker than I was anticipating, but see, that's where sometimes you can get a real random, unplanned thing. And you know, that's what nature basically is. It doesn't have a crazy order to it. It just does what it wants. And by not having enough time to do something, quite often you actually mimic nature then because you've got the uh, irregularity, but we're still with the, uh, well, the almost correct colors, I guess. Now you can see where the light's hitting here, as it just popped over the horizon behind the camera and lit up the hills. You can see in the distance I used more magentas and a bit of orange. As it gets closer you get more of the yellows. That brings it forward. The complementary colours in the shadows, the pale blues and greens to complement the light source. Well, there you go. First light in the Flinders Ranges. Okay, so if you do decide to subscribe, thank you very much. And just remember to hit the notification button so you get to see the new work as I'm uploading it. No worries. Cheers.